All-American Triple Loop is the new for 2024 roller coaster at Indiana Beach. This is a relocated Schwarzkopf looping coaster with some complex restraints. And if you ride this improperly, you can come off in a lot of pain. I previously made a full in-depth review for this attraction, but if you don't have the time to watch that whole video, this is a quick video how to ride this attraction comfortably. Triple Loop reuses the trains from Galaxy Land's Mindbender. These have three restraints. First, there's a seat belt across your lap. This is straightforward and no issue. Second, there's a U-shaped lap bar. This is a ratcheting restraint similar to other Schwarzkopf's, and it's perfectly comfortable. Third, there are accordion-style shoulder pads. These can be the problem. These are thick and firm pads that lock guests in place for the duration of the coaster. They prevent guests from raising their hands and restrain the upper body, but unfortunately, they can chop your neck pretty badly. The train moves along the track smoothly, but the restraints can make lateral forces unpleasant. The whippy drops and pullouts offer sharp lateral jolts. I saw many guests viciously slam their neck into the pads. A lot of people came off in legit pain and refused to ride again, coaster enthusiasts included. And having experienced the accordion restraints before, I already had a method to prevent neck chopping and it worked yet again on triple loop. The key is to sit up straight and have the employees lower the shoulder pads as far as possible. The pads will not lower further once locked, so you need to make sure they're in a good position before the employee walks away. You do not want any sort of gap between your shoulder and the restraint. If anything, you want them jammed into your shoulder. While this can be a little uncomfortable, it's way less painful than slamming your neck during the main layout. This method locks your body in place as long as you don't slouch, and it makes the experience tolerable. I really wish Indiana Beach would advise guests to ride triple loop using this position. This would solve many of the issues people are having with this coaster. I doubt this coaster could run without any sort of upper body restraint today, given those lateral kinks. But there are other restraints the park could consider using. The accordion harnesses are a genuine comfort issue, and they cause this ride to have an obscenely high 59-inch height requirement. But until the park changes the restraints, this is the best method to ride this coaster comfortably. With this approach, you may enjoy this coaster much like I did. So that's how you ride all American Triple Loop with as little pain as possible. What are your thoughts on this ride or its restraints? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this informational video, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.